Hey y'all! <laughs> Hold on, sorry. How is everyone doing? Happy Wednesday! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah. How, how are you guys? How are you guys? I can't talk much, but I figure if I'm gonna talk at all, it might as well be at the beginning. Um, but hello, Darty, and Nefu, I mean, Pannis, and Craig, and Robert. Thank you guys for coming. Um, yeah, it's go time. Yeah, go to me too. Go to me too. I'm doing better every day. I did sleep very roughly last night. I don't know what it was. Ah, uh, it was weird. So, I'm a little bit sleepy. And I have a headache. But, at least I can kind of think, you know? I prefer to be cognizant and just be a little bit uncomfortable rather than be doped up on like Mucinex and Dayquil. <laughs> so yeah, I'm doing better. Better every single day. Talking about- yeah, 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 yeah. Might as well. well. How have you guys been? How are you guys spending your New Year's? I can't believe it's like the middle of January already. I lost a whole week of the year. So crazy. But it's okay, hold on. Let me move over to the center real quick. Actually, I don't even be talking too long, so I'll just go ahead and stay over here since I already situated myself. Mm, everything is grind. I feel that. I feel that so hard right now, Nefu. And yep, time is relentless. It feels like even more so as an adult. I think about this pretty often. But like... At least in high school, you know, when I was sick a lot, um, like, I didn't have to worry about much. Sure, I had some assignments to catch up on, but that was it. And now it's like, you know, even when I was sick, I was checking in at work and being like, okay, I can do this and I can do X, Y, Z. Oh, I don't have my computer right now. I'm sorry. You have to do blah, blah, blah. So it's weird. I miss being able to just like let go. But it's okay. It's okay. Because another, like, what? I don't know. Like, 40 years? How, when do people retire? In another 40 years, I get to retire and then play Super Mario Sunshine until I can't see it anymore. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Every second, every new second is smaller and smaller. Share of your life. Robert! No! I do think about that as well. It's very strange how time moves now. And you have so much to do and catch up on your old MMO. <laughs> no! I love that. I love that so much that that's what you were talking about as life is a grind. That makes me so happy for you. Holy shit. I love it. I really do. And the brain compresses familiar events and experiences. <sighs> is why the week goes by so quickly which is like a good and bad thing you know bad because it's like a good portion of your life but good because like it feels like the weekend comes quicker um hold on storm is trying to appear and hello emma scar hello Awesome last stream because I didn't talk at all. Storm was on my lap the entire time, except when you guys occasionally scared me. And yeah, I know it applies to everything when you say it's grind. It really is. But if that's what's on your mind as far as grinding, I love that. That means I don't know. It just means you have a good life. I think. It was very nice to be able to focus on video games. Okay, okay. But I am going to trivia tonight, straight at 6.30. I will be skedaddling. So, I do want to make some more progress on the TVs. Thank you, by the way, for, for getting them. Really appreciate it. And, um... What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I need to save my voice in case I actually know an answer. I don't really know many answers. My only areas of expertise... What the fuck are you doing? doing? Yeah? You're looking your foot now? Okay. I don't 
know, Storm was just attacking my blanket. There's nothing on it. My only areas of expertise are um, the non-popular anime. Like, I don't know anything about One Piece or... Ali isn't even a big anime, but it used to be like my big example. I don't know anything about One Piece, Naruto, or Death Note. Um, I know about that one guy's swimming class and that's about it. I don't know if you guys have seen that gift, but it's super fucking long. And he teaches you how to swim. And it's very funny. And, uh, South Park, yeah, South Park. I'm very good at it. Mm. The challenge might be that one optimizes their life into potentially suboptimal routine. Ah, I think about this often as well. So you know on games like Persona, where you have to choose what you do, and if you do it too many times, you become fatigued. I think I... I don't really try to live by that. I just fucking grind it out. Like, I, I, I think I live my life right now, which I like, by the way. I love that I do this. Kind of like how I play farming games, where I try to make the most of each and every day. It does get a little bit tiresome sometimes. Not like, um... I don't know. Like, just physically tiring. Not like, oh, I'm done with it all. Melodramatic scene. Nothing like that. And you get genre savvy as you age? I don't know what genre I'd be good at. Um... Uh, maybe... Ah, uh, nope. Just South Park. Ah, uh, I got nothing. That's it. I'm trying to become more knowledgeable. Maybe, maybe I'm becoming more knowledgeable in Discworld because we keep reading those books. You can't really complain though, since it's all keeping you busy. But enough is enough, and that has no time to be depressed. That's right, Nefu, that's right! Hmm. While traveling somewhere or attending an event would be like? Uh huh? <laughs> Party. I was so confused, you're purple and so is Robert, and I thought Robert randomly posted tits, but I was like... That's not a character. I'm I'm here for it, but <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Speaking of anime, am I aware of the VL anime this season called Cherry Magic? No. What is this? Cherry Magic. Hey, this is why I love you guys. You know things I'm into, and I just. <laughs> I can't keep up with everything. I need you guys to spoon feed me information. Like after I got out of high school, I I had like this fear. Like, how am I gonna get up to date on anything? I'm gonna fall behind. And I did fall behind from college to now. But like YouTubing changed that. And I also mana. Yes, I'm getting there. I am slowly feeling. What is this title? Oh my god. What the fuck? Wait, the full title is Cherry Magic. 30 years of virginity can make you a wizard? Holy shit. Let me see the art. Uh, let me see the anime art. It's like the picture they have on Wikipedia, I don't find very flattering. But it does appear to be like the first volume cover, and you know, you you can improve on art over time. Yes, thank you. Aha! Alright, I might watch it. I might watch it. I was talking with someone, I think yesterday, about... I guess like I mainly watch uh, Sinan anime. I don't know if that's how you say it. S E I N A L, I guess. Um, yeah, like the anime that's geared towards old men. And I was like, what even is the opposite of that? Is it just Fujo trash? Like, I didn't even know the name. I forgot it was Jose. Yase Nen. Yase Nen. And I'm a hunkyos. Um, and then I started browsing the Jose category on Mal and it was like 
Fujo trash, Fujo trash, Fujo trash. Otome, 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 slice of life. And it's pretty much what I expected. I don't watch very many of them because I'm not very good at watching romance animes. I don't, like some of the moments are very like cringy. And when you read something, you can change the pace of it. If I'm like, oh god, I can't watch it. I can't read it. I can't read it. It's too cringy. You know, you can just like flip the page and then boom, you're at a cringe fest. But like when you're watching it, unless you actively have your hand on the fast forward button, you can just kind of sit through it. And so I'm bad at watching, uh, I guess, Jose anime. And I don't really care about AOMs. So I don't watch Otome either. And there's so much porn and smut in the Jose tags. I know, right? It's like the same them are pretty much what you expect, okay? But it's like if you are into female-oriented anime as an adult, you are a freak. You are a freak and you're lonely. <laughs> and I love it. I love it so much. And hello, Andy. And hold on, I missed some comment up here. You hadn't read the synopsis because you wanted to be surprised? Expecting some sort of fantasy? Imagine you're surprised when it was a modern day office worker BL. Oh, that's great though. It's great when things can be relatable. Hopefully, there will be more gay office workers in Japan one day and it will be widely accepted. I don't know if it's not, I just, there will be more BL if more BL exists IRL. And hello, Niba. <laughs> it was crazy. I saw your dink donk emo that has like a bell. And then a storm started playing with one of his cat toys that has a bell in it. I was freaking the fuck out. I was like, holy shit, I'm schizzle mode today. I'm hearing a fake bell. It's incomplete because mostly stuff that scan leaders and subbers want to read and watch gets translated. That's true, that's true. Hmm. No dame cantabile. That just sounds fancy. I, it sounds like I would eat that. Okay, yeah, this could be normal. It looks romance though. Their faces are really weird. Is it old? Oh my god! I'm sorry. But it says seasons 1 through 3, volumes 1 through 45, and 45 volumes? That's so many! Holy shit, good for them. Milk your shell. Romance and emotional pulls like it tend to not come off very well for me outside of normal movies. Ah, I'm really bad with normal movies, like with humans as well. I can't watch certain scenes, like I, I cover my face. If it gets, you know, a man. Ah, 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 never mind. You'll say that Jose male leads are often even worse than shoujo ones, which is almost ridiculously, ridiculously toxic. Yeah, there's always a bad boy. I love, like, okay, I get bored of the romance so quickly, but then when they bring in, like, that third person that's trying to take the heroine away, that's when, mm, that's that spicy shit. I love reading that. I mean, of course I want the main guy to win most of the time. But, um, it's, it's definitely the best part. There's always that toxic guy. If I'm glad enough that I'd be making problems, you're not sure more gay guys will help. <laughs> well, okay, they could adopt. They could adopt more, maybe. I don't think that'll help it. 45 volumes is like 450 chapters, maybe 10 years. Oh my god. I don't know that I've even read something that went 45 volumes. I think the longest one I kept up with was Negima. 
How many volumes of that were there? And I feel like... Okay, I know there was like at least 30 Negama volumes. That man put so many text bubbles that were so long and so many panels. Like he just crammed it full. I, I feel like it counted as like a couple more volumes, like at least 10 more. So, what's it called to? 38! Okay, yeah, I got to the 40 mark. Unofficially, but you know. Wait, is this all of it? Oh my god. I love this. Pages 200? That's amazing! I can't believe somebody compiled all this information! Oh my god. People are amazing. There's a nice shoujo romance anime this season about a girl that's time looped seven times, each time learning new trades and life experiences, and killed by the same guy six times, and the seventh time he's fallen in love with her. <gasps> Give it to me! Give it to me right now. Right now. Okay, I love anything with time loops. And this is something I've often thought about. Like, man, I wish I could relive life from a young age and redo a lot of things. Not because, like, I regret them. I just wonder what the branching paths could be like. And oh my god, this is it. This is... This is exactly... That I need in my life. I'm sorry, I started reading descriptions. It's called Seventh Time Loop? Oh. That's good. Have I watched Freyrin yet? I'm sorry, you asked that earlier! Um, no. Okay, well, I started watching it, and then I realized I wasn't ready for the feelings, because it's also something... I have thought a lot about why don't I think about actually helpful things, but like if you live a long life, you're gonna see people pass and that's just incredibly sad. And then they broached that topic pretty early on in the anime and I noped out of it because I, as you get older, you expect that to happen to you anyways. And so, it's like, I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready for it! But yeah, I, j I can imagine that there are many feels if it fucking starts out with that gut punch. Hmm. Merch comes in like a lion is also one of your favorites. Let me see. Maybe reading would be easier. That's true. I cry like a baby on anime. It's very easy to make me cry. I used to be so cool and like stone cold. But um, I, yeah, I used to not cry a lot, but something happened. I don't know what it was, but now I cry like a bitch at everything. Because I'm like, let's see. Let me do seven time loops. Wait, why- why is my mouth open? Close! Wait, what happened? Wait, I think I hit a hotkey- wait, look away! What the fucking key is this? Close my mouth! Why won't my mouth shut? Oh my god, this actually happened to me at the dentist one time. Yeah, you saw nothing better. Okay, wait, maybe it's the number seventh, because I typed in seven time loop. Seventh time is not undoing it. Please. Seven? Oh, okay, I got it, got it. That was embarrassing. Goodness. Mm -hmm. Yep, that happened. Yo, one time I was getting um, a cavity filled and like. My mouth just wouldn't shut at the end of the operation. And I was in the boonies and the dentist didn't really know what to do. He's like, uh, I guess I'll come back in five minutes and see if, uh, you're able to close it. Like, I don't think he had a game plan if, like, my mouth just didn't shut. 
fucking, I don't even know what it was. I don't know what caused that. Okay, seventh time loop. <gasps> and she has pink hair. No, waiting 10 minutes worked though. Pretty scary. I already like, I don't do well at the dentist. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, and it has like the old way of coloring hair. And it's in the anime like that. That's so cool. I don't really see people coloring hair like that anymore. So it's like a little blast of the past. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. We'll start, we'll start drawing now, but thank you. Um, yes, I will go back to being quiet after, actually, no, I did find music. Okay, we're good. It is good. Wait, what am I watching? I'll never shut up once I start talking. Life. This is my character flaw. Um, I'm watching a couple of things. One, I don't know the name of. I think it's got like Tsuki in the title. Like T S U Tsuki. Ah, ah, maybe this. Ah, it's Tsukimichi. Tsukimichi. Moonlit Fantasy. And um, I remember what else am I watching? Uh, solo leveling. Which I fucking love the first two episodes. Holy shit. It appealed directly to me. I just, I just, oh god, I love it. I can't wait to watch more. I just want to binge it. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know if I need a plot. There's just cool action scenes already. And I like it. Um, and then there's one more. Was it happy? Was it sad? What emotions do I remember from the other? I remember being upset that there weren't more episodes. Is there another spy family, maybe? Okay, well, let me look at that. It's very important for you guys to know this information. I, t I know you guys probably don't care. But hold on. Um, apparently, very enemy. Oh, Tabaha, thank you. It is something I've worked on. Um, can they give me English titles, please? I'm not ready for- I'm uh, Mashal! I'm watching Mashal! I love Mashal so much! It's, um, it's a comedy. Uh, if you guys have watched Psyche K, and you like Psyche K, um, which all of you should watch it if you like comedy in the slightest. It's very good. Um, it's like Psyche K, but it, it like tries to have a plot, but I don't really care about the plot. I just want it to keep being funny. But Psyche K also like really appealed to me because throughout the entirety of the show, there was no character development. And I loved that. I get upset when comedies try to throw in like emotional bits or romance. I'm like, I'm not here for that shit. I'm here to laugh. Make me laugh with silly antics. And Psyche K delivered that the entire way through. Oh, it's, it's definitely my favorite comedy anime. Hold on, I need to turn on. You watched the Tama? Because like, okay, I kept seeing it um, on Netflix. Like, you know, when you browse, but it, God, it just looks so fucking ugly. Like the art style itself isn't bad. It's just like, they didn't shade it that much. They didn't do many effects to make it look pretty. And so I'm like, I like pretty things in front of my eyeballs. I'm gonna pass. And I finally watched it one day and I was like, God, I wish I watched it sooner. Psyche. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I think 
Ooh, the Psyche K. Yeah, the disastrous life of Psyche K is gone. It was pretty cute having people fall for him regardless, but it had no bearing on the plot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was wonderful. I wish there were more. I don't care. Like, I say this about video games as well. If you have a good formula, I don't care if you innovate or do anything new. Just like, give me the same slop. That's why Marvel has been- I'm sorry. Has been so popular for so long. They just kept giving you more and more of the same Marvel slop. And it worked. And then they they fucked themselves up by making like a really epic movie. And like you can't top that. It's your own fucking fault. Don't peek early. And hello, Maki! Go to meet you! Go to meet you! Mm. And hello, Constantinos! And hello, Flea Flicker! Give me that generic Marvel oatmeal, yeah! I haven't been keeping up with it as much. Uh, why is that? Oh, my friend got rid of their Disney Plus. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. And I don't really go to the movies. I go to the movies in like, um, monthly spurts. Is that the word? Is spurts a word? I feel like it just sounds gross. It doesn't sound like a word. Sprints? I don't know, I give up. Because like, you can get it uh the amc pass or something like that where you can go to unlimited movies in a month and it's like it used to be 20 bucks and you could cancel it immediately but now they changed it you have to get it for at least three months before canceling it they figured it out and it's worth it <laughs> i think it's worth it when there's a lot of movies releasing like whenever barbie released there was a ton of movies that were around it as well so i got it then Nothing matters in Marvel anymore because they have timelines now. There's so many timelines. I can't keep up. And oh, it's an ad. Hello. Oh. Ah! Marvel ain't nothing without RDJ and Chris Evans. Chris Evans. Is that America? Is that America Man? I think it might be America Man. Wait, and you're re opinion? I don't know if that's like... Is that honest and horny combined? What is this? Oh my god. Oh, movie pass shenanigans? You wanted to know more? Um, the movie pass shenanigans is... AMC has this thing. Where you can purchase it. And it lets you watch unlimited movies. And so when there are multiple months where there's just like a ton of movies that you want to see, it's more cost effective to get the pass than to go to individual movies. And you get to see more. And then give you some like coupons so you can get popcorn and you don't have to keep going to the dollar store to get milk duds beforehand. Marvel burnout is real? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, the one you linked, Robert, looks way too pretty to be saying then. I wanna see a higher res picture, please. Wow! That art is beautiful. Look at those beautiful men. How is this saying then? Weird, yeah, I would not have expected that. You couldn't stomach any of the new Guardian films and the Christmas special was awful. I like the Christmas special, but I also, um, I really like Christmas, so it doesn't take much for me to like it. Sorry, I had like a brain cell fire in a different direction. We're good now. And what am I looking at? Oh, um... Robert linked something that had very pretty art. And um, let me try to find a prettier, bigger image of the art. Ah, finally I found one. I don't know why that was so difficult. I will put it on screen real quick. The art is really 
pretty. Look at that. Why does it look so pixelated? I mean, yes, I enhanced it, but like... The image itself is big. The colors are just very pretty. I like white and blue together a lot. Mm. Kevin Bacon's not a good musician? But that's a good name. Kevin Bacon's a very good name. Mid-range movies kind of died for cinemas? Um... I don't know much about movies, so I can't comment on it. But like, movie prices are so expensive. It's just like... I j I really... Yeah, I'm not gonna go see a mid-range movie. I'm not gonna just see a moderately okay movie in theaters. And those are mine! I don't know! Mm. And what's your bacon number? Bacon number. Um... I think like one and a half. I'm good after like one and a half pieces. Because most of the time it's greasy. I think I like really rubbery bacon too. I don't know what that says about me other than my texture profile isn't great. I don't, it's just very good. I love the texture of rubbery bacon. Yeah, exactly, Sim Mars. That's really close to Kevin Bacon. Really? Wait, that's all he eats too? That's a disgrace. I mean, my name is Kotomi Snacks. And I don't want to admit how many snacks I had today. Thank you. One of them I planned to be a meal, but I ate it incorrectly, so I think it counts as a snack. I ate oatmeal out of the packet, but it was just dry, and it was just really good. I really like dry oatmeal. But yeah, I think that counts. It was like weird chip. Uh, so I had that. I had a ring pop. I had a cookie. I had, oh, I had a tiny gnome. I ate a gnome. I ate a lot of sweets today. But you know the cookie? I didn't intend to have the cookie. Okay, that's not my fault. My family, I'm on a diet. You just shut the fuck up. Don't listen to everything I just listed, okay? Okay, don't do it. Oh, uh, but I just, they sent me like eight. Eight, not like eight individual cookies, but like eight saran wrapped cookie sleeves basically that are handmade. And I'm just like, I don't want to eat them all, so I ate one. It's so good. It's my grandma made it. Um, well, okay, well, it's my grandma's recipe. My stepmom made it. I love that she sent them to me. She's so sweet. Wait, I'm like Kevin Bacon? If he ever played in a movie or TV show? Really, really, really? And a breakfast ring pop? Yeah, I had a ring pop for breakfast. Because... You know... I'm not very good at self-control. I don't know if you guys know that. Well, I guess you wouldn't. Because you're not here with me. You don't get to see my habits. But like... I can't have Skittles in the house. And I can't have Oreos. Those are my two biggest no's, okay? It's no shoes in the house, no Oreos, and no Skittles. Because I will eat the Oreos and Skittles, not the shoes. I just don't want your dirty fucking shoes on my plate. Um, and so I know I like dessert. I have to have dessert after every meal, well, after lunch and dinner. And so I took in a ring pop. But it was a bag of four. And like, even though I put it away, I couldn't help it. Like, I knew they were there, and so I had to have it. I lasted like two hours. But I did good. I didn't have two ring pops today. I only had one. The ring pop, really? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the red one too, because the red one's my least favorite. You have to have the worst first. Are we gonna have to search a room for contraband? No, there's no contraband in here. I'm very, I'm very strict about the Skittle and Oreo rule. 
Because your blood sugar might spike a lot, leading to the grazing? Wait, wait, what? Wait, you just ate a bunch of cookies too? Oh, very nice, Ad. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I intended to eat the gnome, but I didn't intend to eat the cookie. That's true. Bacon number one equals played in a movie, TV show episode with Kevin Bacon. Every level of interaction adds plus one. Oh, is this like a character card? And yeah, there were sugar cookies in the with frosting. Mm. But okay, explain. Yeah, the sugar. Mm. Your sugar eating habits lead to sugar grazing later in the day. Ah, yeah, I actually think about that stuff now because I'm old and it affects me really badly. Like, I spaced it out, okay? I had... What did I eat first? Oh. I had another snack. God, I really just piled it on today, didn't I? Everybody has those days, though. Um, I started in the morning with, like, a couple of fruit Loops. Like, a couple of handfuls, okay? Nothing, nothing crazy. And then, like, an hour later, I had oatmeal and ring pop. And then I had a gnome. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just... I, I wanted food. And you can put the ring pop on each finger and alternate all the flavors? That would be good. I like the swirl ring pops a lot. And do you measure your Fruit Loops portion? Um, no. But... Okay, well, y yes. Yes, in a way. So, like, I put it in a separate container. I'm not just there with my hand in the bag. Yeah, whenever I eat chips or something that's very easy to consume too much of, I put it in a separate container. So, I know what I'm allotting myself beforehand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But did I measure it? No, I was just like, this looks like an okay amount. I actually put, um, like... Three handfuls back, I just went crazy at first. Like the suggested portion? No, I don't. I eyeball it based on what I think I want to eat. And I did good. I got the proper amount. Wait, okay. Six degrees of Kevin Bacon. It's Bacon's Law. It's a parlor game where players challenge each other to arbitrarily choose an actor and then connect them to another actor. Yeah, there's like a game that streamers play. I don't know what it's actually called, but it's exactly this. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they try to get to Kevin Bacon. I think they try to make it until the other person doesn't know a connecting movie or something like that. Like, uh, what two characters are in something together. I mean, yeah, I have measuring cups, but it's, it's, um, that's a lot for cereal. So we get to find a collab based number for VTubers? Holy shit! Yeah, that would be fun! Oh my god. You would have to be like really in the weeds to know that though. <gasps> I just noticed! Hold on, hold on. Hold on, look at this, look at this, this, look at this, right, right here. I'm pointing out it was my ear. My mom was the last one, because I was going, I didn't realize, ah! I didn't realize yesterday, but, um, they gave my mom six months, and I was so kind. So kind, so kind. But yeah, I'm not good at recognizing people at all, so I'm never good at those cinema games. It's like, most people look the same to me. Like... Obviously, I know the rock looks different than um, Chris Evans. They look different, but I do confuse people a lot, very frequently. I, like Vin Diesel and Bruce Willis. Guys, I remembered both of their names right now. I confuse them all the time. I can't tell you who's who. It's a thing.
Um, but anyways, I am going to do the art stuff now. We will do arting real quick. Oh, papa. I'm Patrick Stewart. Oh, yeah. Him too. I'm by arting real quick. I mean, we're gonna quiet art the rest because I'm getting a bad headache. You can't tell John Cena and Channing Tatum apart? Wait. Channing Tatum. I think he's that guy that pretended to be a kid in 21 Jump Street, right? John Cena? Wait. You got less than 30 minutes to speedrun? I mean, we could do that. But like... I have to go right at a specific time so I'm not late and standing my friends off. Yeah, they're very different to me. But I can view so many people that look very distinct that I can't actually judge you, Flea Flicker. But I appreciate you sharing that. Thank you. Classical 9. I guess. It's 6.20 and 6.30. Okay, let me yell at my computer robot. I think I said them. I said one for sure. The other one, I don't know. It kind of sounded like it turned on a light. Okay, I guess we're doing classical nine. Did you post the directions? Wait, you meant speedrun an art comp? Oh! Okay, that's much better. Yeah. We'll continue the one we were doing before. Oh, that's funny. Here we go, here we go. I'm gonna put on music and we're gonna be quiet. Alright guys, everybody all tap. Go do whatever it is you wish to do tonight. And listen to nice music with me if you, if you want. You don't have to or anything. Hey guys. 
welcome to the snack sack. I'm going to do yeah, 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 I'm gonna go.
Thank you guys so much for coming. I'm sorry for the short stream and we didn't actually accomplish that much, but I had fun. Thank you guys. Um, I believe I will be streaming tomorrow, but it just depends on how I feel. That's why I haven't made a stream this week. Just depends on my health. Um, but let's find a someone to raid. It is time actually to go to trivia. It's not time to rest. There is no rest for me. I, I go, go, go. Who can we raid? Who can we raid? Oh, look, Puri's doing art as well. I'm going to raid her. Oh, we can raid Susan later, for sure. Well, yeah, art to art. And I love Puri anyways. Okay, see you guys probably tomorrow. But have a good night, everyone. Sleep well, stay safe, stay warm. You know all the good good. Bye, 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 bye. No. <laughs>